yesterday. I'm telling you, it has to be the greatest archaeological discovery ever. But why do we have to look for it in the dark? Because Dr. Gray and Dr. Johansson probably wouldn't like us poking around or dig before they announced their discovery. Besides, it's spookier this way. This is a show, you know. skeletons ever found. Can I touch it? Well, I don't know if that's a good idea. Hee hee hee, I'll cut it out. What was that? <laughs> I don't know, but it wasn't funny. <laughs> Who's laughing? Hee hee, I'll cut it out. <laughs> yes! C cut what out? What are you talking about? I didn't say anything. Boom! Ah! <laughs> Hello kids, my name is Lucy. What's yours? Kinda jumpy, aren't you guys? What's the matter? Haven't you seen a real fossil before? Ah! <laughs> Good grief, I've been lying around here for three million years. I've got calcium deposits older than the two of you. Can't we just be friends? But, but you're skeletons! Boy, we got a smart one here. Is that your final answer? Or do you want to use a lifeline? <laughs> But skeletons can't talk, can they? Duh. Well, am I talking or not? Wait till you just wait till I decide to sing, buddy. You ain't heard nothing yet. Wow. In a way, all fossils can talk. By studying us, you can tell a whole lot about the world that happened a long time ago. I know that studying history is a good way to learn where we are, where we're going, and where we come from. Now you're talking, I'm Bones. Yeah, Rattles. I'm Tacky. My name is Tup. And I'm Tim. And I'm Tut. <coughs> so I'm set, now come on.
Of yours. Well, what do you expect? Expect, Taffy. Some of them have heads the size of a baseball. <laughs> but there's still a lot we can learn from the past. Who are those people over there? Ah, good question, Tut. Those people over there are Sumerians from the land of Mesopotamia. What you're looking at there is pretty typical for 3000 BC. That guy there is Kazimish. People, people, work with me now. We have to work together. Who died and made him king? I heard that. Now look, I know you guys are all used to getting together or working together and getting along just fine. But it is a it's 110 degrees out here and it's dry as a desert. Sir, sir. Oh, what is it, Inkidu, my friendly servant? So it is so it is a desert. But I think if we guys put in a little bit of work and work together, we can make a great civilization. If we work together, we can make sure that nobody messes with Mesopotamia. Well put, well put. So what? So what's the problem? Oh, we got two rivers. What are these rivers called? Rivers. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. But what are the two rivers called? The Tigris and the Euphrates. A plus. Now they've let our farm goods go skyrocketing. So what's the problem? This is the problem, sir. We need a more efficient way to transport our goods to the market. Right, right, right you are. Oh. Oh, okay, who's got a suggestion? Sir, if I might suggest, I've been working on a small round invention that I think might have great possibilities. Hmm. Well, I can't see it myself, but we'll give it a try. Mm. So what's next? Well, sir, I've been working on a system of currency that might help us keep track of what we trade and what we owe. What well, capital idea? Write it down. Write it down? Write it down, sir. Figure it out. I can't do everything myself. I'm so proud of you guys. After this, we'll be able to make a great civilization. Oh, that lasts for thousands of years between these two rivers. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
archaeologists have been found evidence of great, great cities and very complex civilizations as early as 35,000 BC. The Mesopotamian plague gave rise to one of the first great civilizations. And it all happened on the land between two rivers. to see next, Lucy. Yeah, I never knew history could be so, so alive. Alive? Well, we'll see about that. Listen up. Here comes King Zozerbeater and his trusted servant, Imhotep. <laughs> wow, they look pretty good considering they're more than three million years old. King Zozo, we got no brain. Brain is King Zozo brain is scarce. I've got no grain. The fruit has all dried up. I've got no fruit. People are so desperate they're robbing their neighbors. Children children are crying and old people are sad as can be. Woe is me. Woe is me. What are we going to do? I know, build me a pyramid. <laughs> But first, I must learn the name of the god of the Nile. Then we can offer him sacrifices so he can help us. Everybody, go to sleep at once. I am Kanun. That is K. H N U M. The H is silent. I know the river Nile when it covers the fields and gives it life, bowing down with the fruits. The years of starvation will be over. Thank you and good night. Ladies and gentlemen, my fellow Egyptians, I have had a marvelous and rather brief dream. The name of the god of the Nile is Canoe. That's K H. Oh, never mind. <laughs> the, we must offer him gifts. The end, the years of hunger and salvation are over. Now, now we can finally build the ancient Egyptian civilization that people will talk about for generations to come. Now, I know you're hungry, but first things first. We will start with my pyramid that shall be my tomb. There I was, just sitting by the Nile. Long came a pharaoh and he stayed for a while. Said so there'll be a pyramid straight up to the sky, so I have a place to lay me down if ever I should die. Life. I'd like to take some guards along and my newest wife. I'll have to take some food, but I won't need a car. Put my drinks in an urn and my organs in a jar. Do 
And if I have a rope, put me in a mask and don't forget a boat. Bury me with gold and a million candlesticks. You can learn a lot about me with my hieroglyphics in my tomb. In my tomb. In my Wow, I never realized ancient Egypt dominated the world for like 3,000, 3 million years. Well, not the entire <laughs> earth, Pam, but they were really an amazing civilization. What else could be going on at that time that could possibly be as exciting as building pyramids? Um, tut tut, little tut, very good question. To help answer that question, <coughs> let me introduce you to my good and wise friend Confucius. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> Confucius says, Good afternoon, young and curious friends of Earth still to come. Good afternoon, sir. Since you asked, I might inform you that since Egypt was flourishing, we of the East were making dynasties of our own. Does he always talk like that? I heard that. Confucius was a brilliant teacher some 2,500 2, years ago, and he's right. While Egypt flourished in the West, dynasties of China and India were thriving in the East. Thank you. 
do. People won't believe you if you don't give it more emotion. Now please, one more time with feeling. We are the chorus of the ancient Greeks. We have to act together so we practice for weeks. Listen very carefully for when we speak, we will tell you all the wonders of the ancient Greeks. How they're going, Sophocles? I mean, is the play almost finished? Terrible, just terrible. The play in Athens is in less than a week, and I can't get this chorus to work together for anything. What's the new play about anyways? Well, it's supposed to be about all the wonderful things we create and how it's going to be here long after we're dead and gone. Sounds interesting. It is interesting. I just can't get the right hook to tie it all together. What about The Odyssey? Homer beat me to it. What about Grease the Musical? It'll never fly. <laughs> hmm. How about Grease is the what? What did you say? Greece! Greece, Greece is the word! That's it! That's it! That's it! That's it! That's it! That you thought of it! Wait! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
that ancient Greece has such a lasting effect on the world. This is just great. Lucy, you really know your stuff. No bones about it. No bones about it, huh? Get it? No bones? Get it? <laughs> I get a kid. You're right, Tacky. Greece did have a huge impact on the world, as did the ancient Romans. Oh, I remember the Romans were the first to wait, to try a real republic. <laughs> Not to mention expanding one of the most powerful empires that ever existed. <coughs> Why you could still see the signs of ancient Rome as far as Morocco, Iraq, and even England. Wow! Wow is right, and legend says it all started with twin brothers and their dream to build a city. <coughs> no, I'm telling you, Rob. No, I'm telling you, Rob, Lewis, I had a dream, and in this dream I saw six vultures flying the spot we should build a city. No, Remus, I'm tell I too had a dream, and in my dream I, I saw 12 vultures flying over the spot where we found his babies in that basket raised by that wolf. 12 is more than 6, so that is where we should build the city. 6 is an omen from the gods. That's the spot I choose is right. 12 is a bigger omen. 6. 12. 6. 12. 6. 12. 6. 12. I'm telling you mom. What does she care? She's a wolf for Pete's sake. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm going to kill you with this rock. <laughs> 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 I'll call it Rome. Hey Romulus, how's Rome coming along? Yeah, Romulus, heard you're having some problems with your aqueducts. Look, it can't be built in a day, you know. No need to be snippy, Romulus. I just hope it's ready for Caesar's big bash on Saturday night. Oh, rats, I forgot all about the big party, and I don't have a thing to wear. No, don't worry, no, Roman number one. The word is out that the dress is white toga, so you're all set. Toga's great, I got a linen closet full of them. Well then, what are we waiting for? Let's go!
Yeah, my bones are aching and needing a rest. This has just been such an amazing adventure, Lucy. I feel like we've learned so much. No kidding, my brain can't hold another thing. <laughs> <laughs> the great thing about studying the past is we can learn more about who we are and who we might become. But don't you feel very, very small and insecure, Lucy? Not really, it just makes me feel a part of something bigger than myself. It makes me we realize, realize that, that everything I never did ever did for me changed the world for me. That means, that means everything we do will change the world for those who follow us. That's amazing. <laughs> we matter. <laughs> so here's to the future, both big and small. And here's to the future for one and all. I really don't think this is going to work. <laughs> <laughs>
Isn't that a lot of lines? 